All right. Good day, champions. This is Noble Mike Jameson for another episode of Game Time. I am super excited today. We have uh, an amazing topic, one that I love, um, one that I started paying attention to maybe about five years ago. Okay. Uh, so today's topic of Game Time is um, raise your zero level. Okay. Write that down in your notes. Raise your zero level and this is going to be extremely important it's a very simple lesson for today and if you understand it and become to overstand it it will make a tremendous amount of sense to you okay raise your zero level and so when i'm talking about your zero level i'm specifically referring to the balance of money in your account. Okay. The balance of money in your account. You see, for a very, very long time, right? For a very, very long time, my zero level was zero. Okay. So when I looked into uh my my account, it didn't matter which one, checking, savings, long-term investment, whatever. When I looked into my account and I saw a balance there uh, that would determine on, you know, did I have enough to pay for the necessities of life? Uh, did I have enough to pay for additional things such as uh, some wants in life? Um, but that balance in my account determined all of those things. Okay. And so what happens when we, when we look at money, right, which we know money is a tool to do other things with. When we look at money, we have to really start to recondition our minds on what do we consider the amount of money that we have in our account as zero. So the first note you want to take down is that that number, that amount cannot be zero, okay? So your zero level can't be zero. In other words, when you look into your account, you need to see another number above zero and set your mind that that is your new zero level. Because what happens when you do, it will leave you uh, something in your account uh, other than zero, right? Which is which is really the lesson that I'm trying to really get through. It's, a, it's not a hard lesson, but it's, a, it's, it's one that you got to recondition your mind you see me for a long time you know when i looked into my account and i saw zero in the in the in the balance that means i had zero that was my zero level okay uh, and that caused quite a bit of problems because things would happen like i would be at my zero level and things would happen and now i don't even have anything to um to offset the, the issue that may have occurred because I'm already at my zero level. Now I got to resort to borrowing money, which takes me below my zero level because that now the money's not even mine, whether it's borrowing money from a person or borrowing money from a credit card or whatever the case may be, I'm below my zero level, all right? I don't have enough. So how do you do the, what you do? You recondition your mind. So the first thing you got to do is you set a, uh, a milestone on what your new zero level is is going to be. Let's use the example $1,000, right? Simple example, $1,000. So in other words, when you see $1,000 in your account, you recondition your mind to say, this is my zero level. My new zero level is $1,000. So therefore, I don't have any money. I can't go um, I can't go to the movies because now I'm taking away from the thousand. I can't um, go out partying because, you know, or doing some type of entertainment now because I'm taking away from the thousand. OK, and that's my zero level. That's the number that I have in my head where I have no money, even though I see a thousand dollars there. It has become my new zero level. I have no room for error. And now you you recondition your mind to, to, to see that. And then once you've accomplished that, okay, 
You don't break the law. You don't break the level. Now you move it up to 5,000. So now 5,000 becomes your new zero level. So now when something happens, you have no money. You look into your account, you see $5,000, you have no money. Now, if you have $6,000, that means you, you have $1,000, right? If your zero level is 5,000 and you look into your account and you see a balance of 6,000, that really means you only have $1,000 because your new zero level is 5,000. That means once that, if that $1,000 goes away, mean you spend it on something, right? Of value or of, of none value, it doesn't matter. Once you get to 5,000, you have no money. You can't loan any money out. You can't go anywhere. That is your new zero level. And then you go from 5,000 to 10. And now 10,000 becomes your new zero. You, you get the point? And so you're building up psychologically a system OK, a system of rethinking how you view this tool called money. OK, you have to recondition yourself. And the problem that people have, and I'm going to say something that's going to probably sting to some of you. Write this down. The reason why most people are unable to use money as a tool are unable to recondition their mind to raise their zero level is because they are afraid of money. Write this down in your notes. Most people are afraid of money. Now, you may be thinking that sounds like the most ridiculous thing I've heard you say noble mike jameson because <laughs> i know people who love money right they would love to have thousands of dollars tens of thousands of dollars hundreds of thousands of dollars sure that's what they say but deep down they are afraid of money deep down they're really afraid of money and i'm going to prove it to you because what happens mentally OK, it, it, it really becomes a mental game. Let me share with you what happens and why people, most people are afraid of money. If they're unable to recondition their mind and they're going to always be at have a zero level of zero if they don't, which is scary. And let me share with you why most people are afraid of money, because here's what happens. I want you to think about the person or maybe even yourself, okay? Because I have to talk to myself at times on a lot of these experiences. Most of these experiences are life experiences that I share on, on Game Time. They're, they're life experiences, uh, which can be the best teacher, right? You've heard the saying, experiences is the mother of all learning, okay? So, or they say repetition, repetition is the mother of all learning. So in this particular case, when we talk about people being afraid of money, I want you to think about this. Think about the time that you know that you met someone or you knew someone that got uh, their tax return. Right. A couple of thousand dollars. A couple of thousand dollars or maybe it wasn't a tax return. Maybe it was the uh, the annual bonus from their job because they did so well. Right. Um, but but the re but the bottom line is this is a uh, a short term infusion of cash that they have access to. OK, and because most people are afraid of money, what they do, even before the money arrives, they know it's coming. They know the tax return is coming. They know the bonus is coming. Even before the money has arrived, they've already allocated where the money needs to go. They've already they've already spent it. They've already allocated where the money needs to go. And let me tell you why. Because the, the feeling of having money and raising your zero level and seeing a, a new uh, normal is so uncomfortable for them 
that as soon as that cash infusion comes, the bonus, the tax return, that person, him or her, has to immediately push the money away to get back to a level that's comfortable for them and their zero level. They got to push it away immediately because having the money or the tool at this time, at that moment, is so uncomfortable, they got to push the money away. And, and subconsciously, them pushing the money away is them, you know, remodeling the, the kitchen. Oh, I've always wanted to remodel the kitchen. It's been something on my bucket list. And they take that cash infusion, boom, they push it away and they remodel the kitchen. Oh, I've always wanted to uh, redo my, my backyard. And as soon as they get the cash infusion, bonus or taxes, whatever it may be, they push the money away and they redo the yard. Oh, I've always wanted to go have this proceed. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to. The reality is that having the money is so uncomfortable for them at that moment. It's a new norm because the norm, their normal level is here. The cash infusion brought them here. The new level of money is uncomfortable for them, and they got to push the money away to bring it back down to a state where, they, where they're comfortable. And sometimes the state where they're comfortable is the struggle. All right? That's what a struggle is. It's amazing. And so that's why it have to recondition your mind to raise your zero level. So therefore the infusion of money doesn't make you feel uncomfortable no more because you psychologically prepared yourself that the new level of money is the normal for you. You follow? So it's not uncomfortable. But if you haven't prepared yourself for that, as soon as you get it, you got to push it away. You know, you may name it something else. I've always wanted to buy. I've always wanted to I've always wanted to. You may name it something else, but you have to immediately push it away to get back to that comfortable state of not having or that zero level that you're comfortable with. It's crazy how this works. And so that's why this little simple concept will help you out tremendously. Okay? So if you've got a zero level of, uh, imagine... Imagine having a zero level of 50,000. Imagine having a zero level of 500,000. So someone calls you, hey, man, I got an emergency. Uh, I need, you know, hey, man. And you look in your account and you got 500,000 and $1. You only got $1 because your zero level is 500,000. You have no money except $1. And then your zero level is a million. You understand? So it's extremely important that you understand the concept of mentally what you got to do before the money comes. Right? So this is the education on the concepts and philosophies you got to have before the money. Because if you, if you learn these things after the money, the money's already gone. You're already back to the struggle. You're already back to that comfortable level, right? That zero level that most people have as zero, like I did for a long time. <laughs> it's not that way anymore. It's not that way anymore. But it used to be. It used to be. So it's a very simple lesson today. You have to raise your zero level. Right. Take your time. OK, start out with a thousand. As soon as you got a thousand. Boom. That's my new zero level. I cannot go below that. I don't care if it's the monthly fee on your account. You cannot go below a thousand dollars if that's your new zero level under no circumstance. And then go from a thousand to five thousand. And then five thousand to ten, ten to twenty five, twenty five to fifty, fifty to one hundred. Those are your milestones. Write this down in your notes. 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, 50,000, 100,000. And when you have $100,000 as your new zero level, right? 
you've accomplished something. You've accomplished something. Okay? So listen, simple lesson today. Uh, one of my favorite, right? One of my favorite, I just happen to be in the uh, financial education space. So this is an extremely important lesson to learn early on in your journey towards wealth. Okay? So listen, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please uh, press the subscribe button. Uh, leave us a comment. We absolutely love to hear from our audience uh, all the time. Uh, this has been another episode of Game Time with Noble Mike Jameson. Thank you so much. Take care. Take charge.